the wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City. They take on Milan next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City, and they take on Milan, well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Rade Krunic in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. De Bruyne. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Lovely ball over the top. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Rade Krunic. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly, that's an own goal. He's a bit unfortunate, really. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Rodri. Gundogan. Mares. Now Walker. Rodri. On to Grealish. Using his body to good effect. Yeah. 
He's driven in the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted. And, well, that's the result. Brahim, Krunic, in the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. A chance to extend the lead. And a timely penalty save. And the referee wasn't going to let that go. Gundogan. Gundogan. Mares. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Fikayo Tomori. Rafael Leao. Hernandez. Brunic. Might it be? reaction just missing narrowly on the volley well it's a fantastic effort difficult technique but he caught it so well he's unfortunate Well, as those stats show us, Milan haven't controlled the possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Radek Krunic, an incisive pass. Not a successful intervention, running the ball back. the half-time whistle fast approaching it's Milan with the lead Stuart your overall take well I think they've been the better side in this first half they've defended well they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled the midfield it's been a solid performance so far Jack Grealish on the ball Ruben Diaz now a potentially dangerous position for City De Bruyne Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball and we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here and the advantage accrued and he's broken free and there it is a two goal cushion now and just look at these fans the trophy coming their way surely Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Grunic, he'll take this on and rattling the post. And problem solved for now. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Holland. The ball with Rodri. Well, spot on with that challenge. And he takes it on. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So continuing with the game, City just one behind now. Rade Krunic. Diaz. Could play it in. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. Delivered into the box. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, here's the replay. And it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball. Leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So back underway at 3-1. Riyad Mahrez. On to Holland. And the ball with De Bruyne. And he's making progress. Being egged on by the crowd. Very quick thinking there. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. A change in the offing for City. Astute piece of defending. Holland. It's with Gundogan. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. Another chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And taken short. Celebrations. 
Well, let's see it again because the delivery is absolutely perfect. Hard and low, just inviting someone to run onto it. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. On with the game then, 3-2, what will happen next? Might be able to set up the chance. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Can't miss, surely! Oh, not to be! That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Silva. Well, keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. And they have possession again. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Holland. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. De Bruyne. This could square the game. And able to get a body in the way. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Chance to equalise here. And the ball is loose. Foden. Big chance to get them on terms. He's blocked it. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Mavis! Great block again. And just wide of a target. Goal kick. Well, I think the goalkeeper had it covered, but it was a decent effort, though. Rafael Leao. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Can he find the right pass? Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Rodri under pressure. And there it is. Full time. They are the Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go, the Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it? 
with your own supporters. Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.